Okay, what's up, babes? It's Carlisa Victoria. I'm back with yet another video. If you guys are new here, hi, welcome to the channel. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. So, y'all, in this video, I just kind of wanted to talk about um, the power of manifesting, the power of believing in yourself, the power, the power of being able to obtain anything that you set your mind to. So, long story short, anything you want, you can have. Y'all hear me say that repeatedly. Why? Because it's the truth. So, if you're new here, hi if you are already subscribed uh thank you for being subscribed my lashes are starting to hang low which almost means that they need to be redone they're starting to look very janky anyway i wanted to talk about just like believing in yourself and stuff like that so on the road to becoming y'all always hear me tell you that it's not going to be easy but it's going to be worth it there's going to be days where you don't feel like it, but you're going to have to. There's going to be days where you're not motivated, but you have to be consistent and you have to be disciplined. So the only way to really get re real results is to place action into what it is that you're doing. You hear it all the time. Oh, I don't feel like doing this. Oh, I don't feel like doing that. That's fine. That's human nature. That's human instinct. But you have to be able to be, you have to be able to overcome your mind. Your mind is one of the pow most powerful tools on your entire body in your body on your body whatever and if your mind is not sharp if your mind is not clear if your mind cannot be precise about the things that it needs to be clear and precise well clear and precise are the same they're synonymous but if your mind is not precise um and you you your vision seems obscure that's why when you guys hear me talk about fasting I don't just fast for like bloating or fast for like quick weight loss or detoxification for the body. I also fast for the mind. You have to be able to, when you're hungry or when you want to do something, you might be able to be like, well, I can go pick up something to eat. But when you're fasting, you're sticking to something that's causing you to be disciplined. And at that point, it's like you are being more powerful than what your mind is putting out. You know what I mean? You're overcoming the thoughts of your mind but not only that when it comes down to food when it comes down to i'm not talking about just like oh overcoming that but i'm also talking to being disciplined when i am fasting i notice a lot of times that my mental is a lot clear i can think clearly i can see clearly i just feel a lot more clear and that's pretty much where it's come down to your girl is feeling clear like crystal clear when it comes down to my vision and the things that I need to obtain. So I'm basically just putting it out there that you can have anything you want. You just need to set your mind to have it, okay? And put the action behind it and stop thinking that, oh, I want this and it's just gonna fall in my lap. Nothing's going to fall in your lap. And if it does, you need to raise an eyebrow because chances are mm, it may be some shadiness to it. Good things don't come to those who wait. Good things come to those who work. So if you're not working, you're not putting forth the dedication, the effort, the energy to do and be everything that you need to do and be, then you can't be sitting here like, well, I wanted to do this, but it didn't happen. Well, why didn't it happen? It didn't happen because you didn't do what you needed to do. So in the end of the day, be the better version of yourself. Stop depending on everybody else to basically put you in the category that you need to be put in. Stop depending on people to, to, to put you on, to bring you up. If you wanna be put on, if you wanna do well, if you wanna do great, then you're going to have to will it in your mind to wanna do good, to wanna do great, and that's what you're gonna have to do. But to sit here and be like, oh, well, the reason why I'm not the way that I am or the reason why I haven't been successful or the reason why I can't do this or I can't do that is because nobody put me on, that right there is fugazi because if you're sitting here thinking that somebody's gonna have to put you on you're sitting here thinking that somebody has to somebody has to do something in order for you to excel then you're most definitely in a whole a whole different like mindset and that's that's got to stop you cannot think so people and i know this video may seem all over the place because i still have so many points that i want to hit but sometimes people feel like oh well um you know that you you notice that people may subtly or out loud be a hater but they'll subtly hate on you never want to support you never want to be there never want to do anything because you quote unquote act like you're better than everybody are you acting like you're better than everybody or are they insecure and not living their life to their fullest potential people who make excuses and never make adjustments aren't going anywhere in life people who blame everybody as to why they haven't become successful aren't going anywhere in life so you have to 
it's a difference from being condescending and it's a difference from being confident. A lot of times people can literally write you off, me, a confident person, or you, a confident person, as con condescending or, oh, you think you're better than everybody or all it is rah-rah. And it's like, no, I just, I'm just gonna go hard in the paint, that's all. Like, you can call me what you want. I'm confident, I know that. But at the same time, I'm not gonna take low blows or apparent blows and jabs from anybody who is simply feeling the way or saying the way they're feeling simply because they're simply hating on you. You guys have to open your eyes. I know we're grown and you think, oh, grown folks or people just don't hate on people anymore. That's so beneath us, that's so young. No, there's a lot of immaturity in this world. And a lot of people, they mess up because the person that you're hating on is the person you could be growing from, but you're never gonna be able to grow from them because you're so busy hating on them. You're so busy being obsessed with what they have going on. You're so busy, even if you don't support, you still can be learning, but you're so busy wanting to focus on blocking them out, wanting to focus on making sure that they don't know that you're lurking their content, et cetera, et cetera, to where you're losing. Because all of that attention that you're, all of that, all of what you're doing, you could have been literally having a different approach. You could have been learning from the people that you're hating from, is all I'm saying. So it's nobody's fault as to why you're not the better version of yourself, but yours. So take accountability for what you're doing. Take accountability for your actions, you know? That's why for me, I'm cutting people off left and right. I don't care who you are. I could have just met you last week. I could have met you like as a kid. I could have met you middle school, high school, college. If you don't fit my life, I don't mind telling you, you don't fit my life anymore. Some people get emotional about it. Some people get upset and I get it. I mean, I'm a good friend and that's humbly I'm saying that. I am a good friend. I can say that. One of my friends, she's so sweet, She, but she's very much so blunt. She was like, sis, if anybody ever lose you as a friend, they got to be dumb. And I'm like, well, let me tell you, sis, there's a few dummies out there. But long story short is, it is for me, is never like somebody wanting to cut my friendship off. It's me wanting to cut the friendship off with people. And it's not that I fly through friends like, you know, that. It's just a simple fact. I don't believe in carrying dead weight with me in my life. If you are acquaintance, if you are a friend, if you are not adding to me, there's no, absolutely no need for me to carry you through, like, why? So I can fake pretend like I want to hang out and I don't. So we can spend money, waste money, do all of these different things. Out of all the parking spots, she want to park right here and back her car in front of my car. Girl, don't hit my car. She finna hit the lady curb. Maybe she almost saw that curb up. Anyway, then she realized I was in the car. I'm like, girl, yeah, no. Anyway. I just didn't have time. She like, she just got her driver's license in. Today is not the day to be seen if you can back in. But you gotta boss up. You gotta know what you're trying to do. Be willing to do it. Go for what it is that you know. Stop spending the time. But like I'm saying, anybody could be cut off is what I'm basically saying. So know your worth, add tax. Don't be allowing people in your space who don't belong in your space. If you need to cut people off, it's always a good time to cut people off. The good thing about weeding season is it's not one season. It's year-round. Um, so there's some people who have a weeding season membership package. Like, you know what I mean? You're, you could be weeded out at any point in the year, and that's fine with me. But I am big on quality relationships with people and things, and I feel like with quality relationships comes reciprocity. If reciprocity doesn't exist, then we probably shouldn't exist as acquaintances or friends. So I just wanted to jump on here, encourage you guys, be the better version of yourself, keep going. Whatever it is you want, you can have. Boss up, let's get it. My vlog will be going up today. This video will be going up today. I might do a hair video today, but both ways, make sure y'all stay tuned. I'm about to go to Starbucks though. I know I have my, my food and everything. I only ate a few bites because I hadn't eaten anything at all and I needed to not pass out. And then I'm sipping on Powerade, but I still got all that food left. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab me a coffee so I can, was well, gonna go to a coffee shop, but I think I'm gonna go back home, get work done. Bricks probably needs to come out too. So it's super hot, but I'm gonna go home. Cause I had that dentist appointment and I haven't really been gone long after the dentist appointment was over. So yeah, I think I'm gonna take it back home. It's Friday, it's probably gonna be some traffic jams. 
So I probably should take it home. I was thinking about stopping in the store to try to pick up some paint so I could start painting my walls. Oh, you know what? I'm at the Dollar Tree. I'm outside at the Dollar Tree now. I might as well go in and pick up the, you know how they have the paint rollers? I should go in and go get those. Cause I have like the paint, I have the paint, like five piece, the little replaceable pieces, but I don't have a roller and I don't have a pan. I'd rather get that from the Dollar Tree than to get that from like Home Depot or somewhere where they're gonna charge me way cheaper. So let me go.